Every dairy farmer is familiar with this situation. A blood test shows an increased level of ketone bodies, even though the cow seems to be healthy. The diagnosis is subclinical ketosis, and quick intervention is crucial to prevent the development of possible clinical signs. For over 50 years, farmers and vets have trusted Catasol. Its unique combination of butophosphan and cyanocobalamin is known to reliably treat subclinical ketosis. To understand how Catasol works, we need to take a closer look at how ketosis develops. In a cow's lactation cycle, one particular period is marked by metabolic stress, the peripartum phase. Normally, a cow's body uses glucose from feed and cellular stores to ensure energy supply. In the peripartum phase, however, decreased appetite and the start of milk production cause a lack of glucose. The result is a negative energy balance that forces the cow to activate alternative energy sources. In particular, body fat is used. The fat is broken down into fatty acids. These move into the liver cells and become activated. They are then transported to the mitochondria, the cell's energy factories. Here, acetyl-CoA splits off to enter the citrate cycle and contribute to energy production. Notably, oxaloacetate is required to enable entry. In times of metabolic stress, however, the amount of available oxaloacetate may be limited. Due to this, less acetyl-CoA can enter the citrate cycle. The remaining acetyl-CoA accumulates in the mitochondria and converts into ketone bodies. If the energy supply does not revert to glucose, more and more ketone bodies are produced. The result is subclinical ketosis. The main problem for the cow is that increased ketone levels are associated with suppressed appetite. Decreased feed intake causes blood glucose levels to drop, leading to raised fat mobilization and yet more ketone bodies. If untreated, this vicious cycle can lead to clinical ketosis. Both subclinical and clinical ketosis result in significant financial losses due to reduced milk yield, immune deficiency, and secondary diseases. Catasol can break this vicious cycle by reducing acetyl-CoA levels via two distinct mechanisms. On one hand, cyanocobalamin contained in Catasol supports the production of succinyl-CoA. In turn, succinyl-CoA can then be metabolized to oxaloacetate. Due to this, less acetyl-CoA accumulates and thus fewer ketone bodies may develop. In addition, it has been established that Catasol regulates the production mechanism of the enzyme ACSL1. As described, fatty acids need to be activated before they can be processed in the mitochondria. ACSL1 is the activator. After treatment with Catasol, ACSL1 is decreased, thus less fatty acids are activated. In turn, the production of acetyl-CoA and ketone bodies also drops. As a result, appetite returns, glucose levels rise, and milk yield is restored. Catasol sees your cows through metabolic moments.